Okay, today I'm going to show you what is inside of an iPhone screen and a little bit about how it actually works. I'm very excited to show you this and we're going to take it apart step by step. Now on this channel, mostly I want to help you learn how to fix things so that you can save money and, and learn too. And so today is mostly going to be about learning. If you ever wanted to learn what is inside of an iPhone screen and how it works, keep watching. So this is an iPhone 5S with a screen that has seen better days for sure. And I have already taken everything apart, but the order of the parts are still there and we're going to dissect it for you. This is the inside of an iPhone. If you've never seen one of those, that's what it looks like. You can see how big the battery is compared to everything else. But we'll get that out of the way because we are mostly concerned about this screen assembly here. So let's flip it over. We got to dig through the back and look at all the parts. The first thing is all these connectors up here that connect the LCD, uh, the uh, backlight circuit. The stuff here is the uh, front facing camera, proximity detector, et cetera, et cetera. All that stuff that goes connects into the front. All right. So let's take off our first layer. This is just a metal plate that holds the backlight down up against the, uh, the screen and the front glass. So that's screwed in by the side and I've already taken the screws out. All right, now next we have our first piece of the backlight. This is the reflector sheet and it's called the reflector sheet because of the shiny finish here. This mirror like finish of the reflector sheet is to reflect all the light of the backlight through the front of the screen. And so Pretty obvious. You don't want any light escaping out the sides or the back. Now our next part is called the light guide plate. This is a piece of plastic, some kind of plastic with uh, a pattern on it. And its purpose is to get the light evenly dispersed from the top to the bottom. And it, the light bounces around inside of this, this plastic here. And the attempt is to hit these dots or pattern that is on this light guide plate to get the light waves bouncing forward towards the screen. So that's what this is. The next piece is called the diffusion, diffusion film. The purpose of this is to mask any imperfections on the light guide plate so you don't see any dots or anything like that. Um, and so the light is pretty uniform after it comes off of here. So it's, it's diffusion film, so it diffuses the light. And so it's a sort of a clean white light from the top to the bottom. Now, glued on to the top here is one I want to show you is the actual LEDs themselves. Can you see those? There are eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight LEDs that are, make up the, the light source for the backlight circuit. All right, so those light up and they give you the, the light that powers up the screen, or at least they show through the screen so you can see the image. All right, we got a couple more pieces to go here as we dig our way through the back of this phone. This next one, actually the next two, are both prisms. And the reason that there are two of them is because uh, one does a horizontal and one does a vertical. Uh, they're both um, prisms and their point is to get all of the light that's bouncing around this uniform light that's coming out of here and concentrating them so that they're more pointed towards the the front of the screen and they're not just scattered so in effect the other way to say is this these are our um, brighteners they're also called brightness enhancing film and so uh, we could do an experiment where we put these over top of this diffusion film with the lights on and we'll notice, we'll see a very visible difference of how it gets brighter. So these help brighten the backlight. All right, now we are at the, uh, the final stages here of our dig. This is, this piece that I'm touching right now is the back polarizing film. You can see it right here. Uh, this sort of plasticky thing that broke off. That's the LCD itself with the uh, you know, capacitive touch sensor in there. 
Um, but this, this piece right here is the rear filter. And uh, I'll do another video next that shows you actually uh, a little demonstration of how the uh, polarizer, what I call this a filter, it's the polarizing filter, um, to uh, how it works in an LCD TV, or in this case, uh, iPhone screen. So this is the rear polarizer. This is the LCD screen. And the way that this kind of broke off, I guess maybe when it got dropped or it fell down or something, it broke in such a way that, uh, which is very interesting, it broke such that the the uh, LCD broke away from the front polarizer. Now this is the front glass here, but uh, glued to the front glass is the, the other polarizer. And so you have the, polari the front polarizer, you have the glass, the front polarizer, the LCD itself, the rear polarizer, you have your two prisms, your, or brightness enhancing film, you have your LEDs with your diffusion film. It goes this way. You have your light guide plate. And you have your reflector film. And we have just dissected and put back together the iPhone backlight and LCD assembly. Hope you enjoyed.